I'm Andrew Goodhart Brown. Uh, I'm an absolute fruit nut. I love fruit. I could live off fruit. And I'm, I don't care the least bit about industrial grown stuff. So, you know, our, our emphasis here is going to be non toxic fruit, you know, organic, beyond organic fruit. And my idea is, is you know, I want to grow things that anybody can come onto my landscape and just bite things right off the tree in the bush and have it be great for them. We arose in, as a species, in, in a Garden of Eden that was everywhere. You know, all, all fruits, all nuts, all medicines, and whatever we started out as, you know, Homo sapiens emerged in that landscape. So it really is our natural birthright to, to be in a landscape that meets all of our needs, food, medicine, you know, social, everything. I'm part mystic and part scientist. I think that's a good mix. The body of every plant, the physicalness of any plant is just as complex as our own. And what makes that plant alive is the, same, is the exact same thing that makes us alive. That's the spark of life, the spark of the divine. So, you know, I invite you as you, as you make relationship with the plants that you've already got going in your landscape and the ones that you pass uh, on earth and the ones that you're going to be bringing in, think of them and relate to them as another life force just like yourself, you know, and be, be conscious of that. It really deepens the experience of, you know, being a homo sapiens on the earth and also deepens the relationship with, with the plants that are in your landscape. Uh, and and it, that's hard for one for a lot of us to do. I still, you know, if I see something in my garden and orchard that's, you know, a bit of a problem that has just popped up, I mean, I go, you know, running over there with my nippers, and I go, go, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, slow down, Andrew, slow down, you know, and, and uh, you know, at least, at least talk to, what I like to do is talk to the tree, talk to the plant, and say, okay, this is what's going on, this is what I intend to do, and, you know, give it a respectful moment or two, and then start, start <laughs> doing, doing my clipping, you know, it's, it's just a way of re retraining ourselves. Um, most of what we're going to do is going to be in the field. There's a small fairly new orchard. Uh, actually, it's really a planting. It's not, not an orchard yet. Um, probably, what, eight, eight to 10 years old, you think? Eight yeah, to 12 years old? something like that, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, it's a great teaching platform because a lot of you, if you're putting in your own trees and fruits and things, you might make the same mistakes that the person made that put these in. So we'll look at them look at some of the problems with it, talk about how that might have been done differently. We'll move into looking at a tree to do some remedial pruning and you know how to think about it, how to look about it, and then actually how to do it. And a lot of that is going to be, be hands-on. Um, I think we can probably, do you have anything you'd like to add? Uh, tell us about your passions. Uh, well, my passion is sweet cherries. And that's why you see the <coughs> magazines that are back there. And unlike Andrew, I have most of my career trying to work with production agriculture to have it be uh, able to supply healthy food to people. And I have done that in three different institutions, Michigan State and, and Clemson and, and Cornell. But retirement is so much better because you can pick and choose what you do. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I currently work for my, one of my very first graduate students. He hires me to come to California and work for him in breeding sweet cherries. Okay. So I just am home from six weeks of working in, in Delano. Um, and we have something in the neighborhood of 60,000 sweet cherry trees, each one genetically different in the ground that we're, wow. that we're trying to breed sweet cherries that don't need very much winter. So we, we, we play off of each other pretty well here. Yeah, Actually, yeah. I was a vegetable breeder in my training, so I've learned all the pomology OJT, and, and I think Andrew's learned most of his, and Patrick is learning his <laughs> pom moment, yeah. pomology yeah, yeah. OJT. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, so that's a little bit of our background. Our grandchildren live in this area, so that's why we moved here. And uh, we're enjoying it we're very much. It we're enjoying it very much. We're going out there? Yeah, if you brought any pruning tools with you, it's a good time to get them and, and we're gonna go down the steps and just 20 yards in that direction.